Google and HTC announced the Google Edition HTC One. Despite this announcement, Google confirms that the Nexus program continues. And yes, believe it or not, the Motorola X Phone finally becomes a reality this summer. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I can finally stop thinking about unicorns every time I hear Motorola X. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about HTC. We've got a leaked spec sheet of the T6 codename phablet that everybody's curious about. First of all, you're getting a 5.9 inch 1080p display, along with a Snapdragon 800 processor, two gigabytes of RAM. Full link to the description for all the details on every other specification. Apparently we are getting an ultra pixel camera of undisclosed megapixels um, or ultra pixels. And obviously we will most likely get this device by the fall, so stay tuned. The rest of the day is all about Google that started off with Google Music All Access. The service was launched for Android customers at Google I.O. and apparently it will be available for iOS customers in the next coming weeks. Price points are the same, but as with everything Google, we don't know exactly when you're getting it, so we'll keep you posted. And can you believe it? We are finally going to be talking about the Motorola X phone. Yes, the company CEO was recently interviewed at D11 and he was very specific. The device is going to be called the Moto X and it's going to be launched in the summer. He didn't provide any details on the device itself, but he was clear this is the first smartphone to be assembled in the United States, Dallas, Texas to be specific, which is awesome for US jobs. So stay tuned. Obviously, we can't wait for this device to finally show itself. But this is not the only news we got at D11. Sundar Pichai was also interviewed and he was very specific when asked about the Galaxy S4 Google Edition. They asked if the Nexus program is closing down because of this and he said no. The Nexus program is important to push manufacturers limits when it comes to hardware and software. And according to him, we will be getting more Nexus smartphones in the near future. Obviously, he didn't specify when, but most likely by the end of this year in the fall. So we'll keep you posted. And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you that are waiting for that announcement of the Google edition of the HTC One, it is now a reality. Sundar Pichai also mentioned that at D11, it was clear this device is launching in June. It'll be the 32 gigabyte model. And sadly, the only bad part is that it'll cost the same 650 bucks as that Galaxy S4 Google edition. But still, if you want the full experience of stock Android without having to root the phone, well, this is the way to go. But that leads me to the question of the day. Now that you're being posted the question of the Google edition of the HTC One and the standard edition of the HTC One, which one are you getting? Uh, to be honest with you, I would rather go for the standard version just because you can get it with a subsidy. You can also obviously just root it. Links down below for a full video from Taylor Martin on how to do it, how to make your current HTC One into a Google edition. And well, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you could already do it without waiting for the phone or paying 650 bucks, I would rather stick to the standard edition. But leave us a comment down below. Why would you prefer the Google edition? L let us know. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.